Hi, I'm Shelley from Rhythmic Pilates and today we are going to redefine and reshape your waistline. We are going to do that by targeting your deep abdominals, your transverse abdominals that wrap around the waist just like a corset as well as engaging your deep internal and external obliques to cinch into that side waist. I have some light ankle weights on, they're going to intensify your workout. You can go without if you're just starting out. We'll add a little hand weight in that's around one kilo and the Pilates ball is going to help us activate the deep core. You can improvise without it. Each exercise will be layered so you can remain where you feel safe and comfortable and supported or you can add on to intensify and challenge. Let's get started. We're coming to lie supine on our back with the Pilates ball in between the knees. So coming to lie down on our back, you'll place the ball between the knees, the hands come behind the head. We press the skull into the palms, take a big inhale and expand your rib cage. And as you exhale, wrap that corset around the waist, drawing in and up one more time, inhale. And as you exhale, crunch, gliding the rib cage to the pubic bone, lower down two more here. Exhale, rib cage comes towards the pubic bone. One more time. It'll get more fun, I promise. All right, let's lift the knees. They come above the hips into 90 90. Point your toes, take the opposite arm towards the opposite elbow, and lower down. We're thinking about the obliques, the external obliques that create that wrapping motion as we reach to the opposite side. Exhale, seven, lower down. Six more here, six, and return for five. Feeling that shake already. Four more, keep those knees directly above the hips for three. Use your breath for two. One more here. You are going to do eight more exactly like that or you're going to come with me where we draw the knee towards the underarm and then exhale pressing those knees forward and it's just a press so it can be a press to here or it can be a press to here. Six more, six, extend away. We want to keep that belly drawn in, scooping away from the leggings for four and three. Warming up through the deep abdominals, the transverse abdominals. One more. All right. Lowering those feet to the mat and simply rotating onto your side, grabbing your hand weight. Now, if you are without a ball, just squeeze those inner thighs together. Knees are stacked, hips are stacked, forearm is directly under the shoulder. Grab your weight. We're going to lift those hips. Part of having that beautiful hourglass shape reach overhead is having beautiful fluid hips so we're going to tone those hips as we lift them up towards the sky and lower down six more here lift up to the sky and lower down if you're finding it too much with the weight drop the weight to the mat for five use your breath here exhale lift those hips and inhale to lower. We're going to scoop those lower abdominals away from the leggings. Two more here. Two. You've got it. One more. Reach up to the sky. Hold it here for me. And we're going to find that wrapping motion with the external obliques as we wrap back of the hand to the mat, guided by the chest, and lift back up to the sky. Get to work those arms. Three more here. Wrap. Lift to the sky and two more. Wrap. Keep scooping those abdominals away from the leggings. Squeeze the ball. One more. Finding that rotation and lift. Lowering down towards the mat. Beautiful work. Place that weight to the side. We will grab it again. Grab your ball for me and let's flush it out. We're going to reach the ball forward and the leg behind you, tilting the torso. Ab slicer. Open up. Close your clam. Reach away for three. Close the knees. Open the chest. 
Isn't it beautiful to find movement that feels good and is effective? So you can enjoy your movement. One more beautiful work and we're going to simply place the ball under your bra line or if you're not then just at the top of the rib cage and we're going to bring the palms behind the head we're going to rotate to the sky heels hip shoulder are in alignment knees are stacked which means we're not rolling back or forward we're going to crunch here's where the magic happens i want you to close the space between bottom rib and hip as you cinch towards the sky chest comes to the sky here we are just here bottom rib to hip close the space and then lengthen six more we're going to add on so stay here if this feels like enough four more exhale four Keep scooping the lower abdominals away from the leggings to feel that deep core engagement. One more. I'm working fast for you today. <laughs> Grab your weight if you want to use it. And you're going to extend the arm out here for a little more. And if you want support, keep the hand behind the head. Otherwise, we're going to come up and tap that ankle and lower down. So we find this shortening between rib and hip as we reach and then lower down slow deliberate movements let's do it six more six close the space between rib and hip five four find your length reach out of fingertips and tippy toes three two more two last one here hold it for me and pulse this is it reach up nice and high for five four three two one lowering down and before we change sides we're going to find length in the body by bringing the ball between the knees come into all fours place the balls between the knees if you're using it if not you've got your knees squeezed nice and tight together palms come one pump further than your shoulders tuck your toes under we're going to come into a crouching position as we pull the sit bones over the heels and then shoot forward into planks zip up through that core three more here and then we'll bring some rotation in remember without a ball you're just squeezing the knees together squeezing through that inner thigh as we zip up from pelvic floor to core one more lower and shoot forward we're taking it over to the side so pivot through those feet and over to the side find your length shoot forward five more on this side all the way forward and you can come through this circuit twice for a little more today four more pull back and shoot forward hip bones track to the mat three scoop away from those leggings two more here two find your length crown of the head to the tailbone one more beautiful work opposite side we crouch shoot forward to plank pivot five and forward finding your rotation here four more deep obliques working hard for three two and one more here beautiful work a well-deserved child's pose take the ball out roll it forward and hinge over those hips one breath cycle here one big exhale we're going to grab one weight and switch sides so grabbing your weight coming over to the opposite side ball comes in between the knees Feet are stacked, hips are stacked, and we're going to lift up towards the sky, reaching up to the sky. And if it feels good today, you're going to reach the hand overhead and lower down to the mat. Let's lift those hips up. Beautiful. And down. Five more here. Up to the sky. Feel that breath elevated. We want that. Four more. I'm going to keep that metabolism fired up all day long <laughs> three more and lower down work those hips up to the sky beautiful and then we'll find some rotation as we lift 
and we're going to be guided by the chest as we rotate through the spine back of the hand to the mat and scoop that belly away from the leggings and lift you got it three more three up to the sky two more feel that rotation external rotation through the oblique one more up to the sky beautiful work come on down let's drop that weight <clears throat> grabbing your ball reaching away finding length through the body and opening up the chest closing the knees reach away find your length point the toe open the chest and there's lots more we can do here reach Ab slicer, chest is open. Extend tippy toes to fingertips, finding those points of opposition as we lengthen through the body and open the chest one more time here. Beautiful work. We place the ball just at the underarm or bra line and you're going to bring the hands behind the head and let that skull press heavy into the palms. Knees are stacked, hips are stacked, crunch and lower, crunch and lower. All right, let's find that magic. We're going to close the space between rib and hip as we cinch, come up for six, breathe, five, scooping the lower abdominals away from the leggings for three and two and one. And if it feels good, you're going to grab your weight and you're going to reach up to the sky. Are you ready for me? Let's go. Up and down. Now, if that neck needs support, hand behind the head, pressing into the palm, allowing the neck muscles to rest. Otherwise, give me a little more. Up and down. Cinch and lower. Cinch that side waist. Come on down. You got it. Two more. And one last time, hold it for me. Reach, reach. I want you to scoop the core. Find your deep abdominal. Zip it up. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. We're going to take the palm underneath the opposite arm, threading the needle, reaching up towards the sky, windmilling the arms back. Taking a stretch and returning opposite hand, back of the hand to the mat, thread your needle, lift up to the sky and windmill the arms back. Okay, I hope you feel amazing that you feel like you worked into your side body and engage the deep core that you feel amazing and back to your very best self thank you for joining me and i'll see you again next time